about smoke detectors today. Um, it's a good time of the year to replace your batteries. Uh, good rule of thumb is just uh, spring or fall. Uh, daylight savings time is a good time to replace your batteries. This is a, a brand new unit. I'll just open it up, show you the components. It comes with a little dust shield on it for construction uh, while you're, you're doing stuff. It has a, a pigtail mounting base on the unit. Um, the mounting base will be screwed on the ceiling upside down like that and then uh, the smoke detector itself just twists on. It's a simple twist. Most smoke detectors come off that way as well if you need to get it off the ceiling. Can't quite figure out how. The power connector will plug in right here. has a, a power wire, an interconnect wire to connect to multiple devices so if one alarms they all alarm and then a, a neutral wire. This particular unit has a battery compartment right on the front. Uh, we'll pull that out, lets the battery go in. And see, the battery is simple to just take out. Um, you do, I don't know if you see the plus and minus in there, but you just have to make sure your battery lines up, plus and minus. Slide that in, and that actually pushes down a lever which allows the door to close. So it won't even close uh, without that. Now you can see the red light flashed a little bit there. When you're hooked up to regular power, AC power, this light here will stay a constant green. And that's how you know your AC power is working. And the battery backup is simply to, to keep the unit functioning. Um, if you do lose power, or any time the power is gone. So that's basically all there is to that. Um, when you do replace the battery, um, on this unit, on the back here, it does talk about the specific batteries you can use. It's a nine volt battery but they have specific model numbers there and you want to stick with the same type of battery. Uh, rechargeable batteries don't work so well. You can get a lot of errors or, or faulty alarms beeping with it. Um, There's a real common problem. The most common thing we see is beeping or chirping of the units and uh, that's, a lot of times that's caused by a, a weak or, or bad battery that's gone dead. So that's, uh, that's the majority of what we have there on our smoke detector. Okay, we talked about all the components. We'll uh, get some of these pieces out of the way. Um, what I did is we went and we just wired this up to power so I could show you what that looks like. Right now, this has a battery in it. Um, you hear a chirp there. It tells you you have a problem. We do have a problem. There's no constant power to it. Um, you get a red flash from the LED there every so often. And uh, so what I did is I just took power into this pigtail, plugged that in, and now the light goes green. That tells you you have constant AC power in there. Um, it's a little dim with the uh, light coming in, but uh, so you can look up and tell if you've got green power there, your powers or your green lights on, your power's typically okay. Now, if this only has uh, the red light beeping or there's no light there at all, you've probably lost your AC power. A way to find out on that, uh, just go down and check your breaker box. Um, these are required now in bedrooms to be on arc fault breakers and that can trip much easier. Um, so you can go down to your electrical panel and see if any breakers are tripped and reset that. Um, if it does have the green light but you're still getting a chirp, you've got another issue going. One of those might be what we talked about already, the battery may be uh, close to dead or dead and uh, that'll give you a chirp. And then some of the other common problems we see are these sit up there, um, spider webs and dust can accumulate. And so they'll, they'll accumulate around the sensor and cause some interference. Um, something you can do there is get some high pressure air, blow it out, and get a vacuum, clean it out, uh, something like that, um, and take care of that. Now if the unit's older than about five years, um, some manufacturers recommend just replacing the whole unit when it's gone through its life cycle. And that's not a bad idea. Um, sometimes you can see that you're having problems with two or three of your smoke detectors and if you're having that uh, it's probably a good time to get them all replaced. All right so we've talked about a lot of the common problems. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Now you can see the, the green lights going and we'll get a red flashing light occasionally. But uh, there's a few things that might help in some of the common problems we've seen. Uh, remember again daylight savings time spring and fall is a good time to remember to change your battery and uh, 
Another thing would be October is generally fire prevention month, and that's a great time to remember as October comes each year to make sure those are changed once a year. So I hope that helps. Uh, that about wraps it up.